The Conservative Party is on course for a historic defeat at the general election on July the 4th. Barring a major polling error, the Tories are on course for a 1997-style election wipeout. And the party's problems may still get worse. So I am going to stand in this election. Nigel Farage's return to frontline politics threatens to destroy the Conservative Party, but why is that? Hello, Clacton! Ever since Farage announced that he was standing as a parliamentary right. candidate in Clacton, reform's polling numbers have surged. It's rigged. Farage has promised to lead a political revolt and, according to some polls, his party is neck and neck with the Conservatives. According to one poll by YouGov, it may even be ahead of them. Good morning! Farage's rising popularity has driven an ideological wedge through the Conservative Party. Suella Bravman has urged her Conservative colleagues to embrace Nigel Farage. But Jeremy Hunt and others have urged the party against moving to the right. And it's absolutely brilliant uh, to welcome Lee to Reform UK. Hasn't he done the right thing? Yeah! Some disaffected Conservatives have already defected to Reform. And there's concern that after an election, more could yet switch sides. Data suggests that only half of those who voted Conservative in 2019 are planning to do so again. One in five of those lost voters look like they're going to punt with reform, while a further fifth look like they're switching to Labour. And according to polling expert, Professor Sir John Curtis, most of Reform UK support comes from those who voted for Boris Johnson in 2019. Our exit poll is suggesting that there will be a Conservative majority Older male Brexit voters represent the largest demographic to have abandoned the Conservatives. A big portion of these voters have now shifted away from the Tories. Farage's return to frontline politics is believed to be the driving force behind reform's recent rise. And now they're tackling the Conservatives head on on key policy areas. The party want to stop all non-essential migration to the UK. And they want to leave the European Convention on human rights to prevent migrants from challenging their deportation. Energy is also high on reform's agenda. The party wants to scrap the government's zero emissions targets and grant more oil and gas licenses to fossil fuel companies. Nigel Farage thinks the net zero agenda places an unfair burden on working families. On the economy, reform is looking to reduce corporation tax as well as scrapping rates for small and medium-sized businesses. Nigel Farage has previously been open about the disadvantage reform faces when it comes to funding, but in the first two weeks of the campaign, reform raised £882,000, which is similar in that period to the amount raised by the Tories. As the Tories continue to disagree on the direction of their party, it seems reform only continues to gain ground. Nigel Farage believes that reform would replace the Tories as the main opposition to Labour within five years. So, does this spell the end of the Conservative Party as we know it?